Uh, Max Davis Johnson, uh, Boise State University Office of Information Technology here. Uh, today, we're gonna do a quick tour here of the Interactive uh, Learning Center. It's very representative of a lot of things that we're doing this summer as far as expanding uh, student services, uh, things we're doing in, in, in open labs here across the university, and also what we're doing in classroom support. So if you'll just follow me, we'll head on in. I'm now standing in the, uh, the zone. Uh, we've turned this into the uh, customer, uh, the help desk and the student support center. Uh, a lot of things are going on in this room. One, our walk-in support for the entire university will be based out of this room. So the idea is you have a problem with your device, you bring it in, we'll help get you connected, whether it's your phone or, or even a laptop, uh, we'll work with you. Uh, if, if you got uh, virus uh, on it, we'll, we'll help you there. Uh, if you need some software installed, we'll help you. If you need to understand how to use some software or, or you're stuck on a problem, we'll certainly try to assist you. Uh, the hours of the zone, uh, starting in the fall, we will be going, starting at seven in the morning to 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, just as we're gonna be extending uh, the help desk, the call and support center. Uh, we also will be going till 10 o'clock at night now. So uh, a lot of changes, a lot of uh, improvements in, in customer support. And certainly as you look around here a little bit, you can see Mark Dory and his uh, crack team um, you know, helping people on the phone uh, in, and providing assistance uh, as needed. So you have a problem, come to the zone, student support center here, uh, the help desk in the ILC, and, and we'll take care of you. All right, so we're gonna move on uh, upstairs and a few other places here. Uh, if you're not familiar with the ILC room or the ILC building, uh, there's you know a lot of open space. Uh, the idea is designed to have a lot of collaboration space. And so one of the things that we're gonna be doing, we do have a few computers in here already, but we're gonna be increasing the number of open uh, lab type computers uh, in this building to, to probably you know, 40, 40 or 50. We're putting them in various locations throughout the building. Uh, we also, there's a, a large number of, of breakout, individual breakout rooms in this building too. And we're going to be putting uh, computers uh, for uh, open use in, in, in those uh, breakout rooms also. The neat thing about what we're doing too is, is we're doing this in a variety of places uh, across campus. Uh, we'll be adding a similar number of computers to the uh, student union building. Uh, we'll be setting up kiosks and other key buildings. And every open lab, and there's a large number of them here at Boise State, will have the same software, the same common image on every one. And so you will not have to, if you want to run SPSS, you, you will not have to think about, oh gee, which lab has S SSPS, because all labs will have SSPS. Uh, MathCAD, Mathematica, uh, there'll be up to 80 different software packages that will be available on every lab machine. And, uh, you know, again, it, it's we're trying to uh, make uh, software more accessible, uh, more, more available uh, to students here at Boise State. And, and this is part of what, what we're, we're doing here uh, going forward. So, all right, one more place we're going to visit, and I'll see you in a second. Bye. Uh, I'm now standing in a uh, classroom in the ILC. I just want to talk briefly about what we're doing in the classroom. This classroom is representative of not only what we're doing in the ILC classrooms, but what we'll be doing in classrooms all across campus. And so one of the things we're going to be doing is expanding our, our wireless capacity uh, in the majority of classrooms on campus. Uh, we're using a concept uh, we're calling Max Wireless. I swear I didn't come up with a name, but the idea is that we have enough uh, wireless coverage uh, in a classroom so that if every seat had a device that was trying to connect, we would have enough bandwidth uh, to provide that connectivity. Uh, certainly, uh, as we use more and more devices in the classroom, uh, our ability to do this will be very important. Uh, we're also standardizing on the equipment that you see in front of me here uh, at, the, at the instructor's console. We'll have a standardized uh, control unit so if you need help, you can get it immediately. We can do remote diagnostics. Uh, and if, if, if we can't uh, fix it remotely, we'll immediately dispatch somebody to the classroom uh, to, to troubleshoot uh, in person uh, if necessary. 
another thing that we're doing, I mentioned earlier, talking about a standardized uh, computer image that we're going to have in the labs. Uh, that sta uh, standardized computer image will also be on the uh, classroom uh, computers too. So again, there'll be some commonality there from software uh, in the classroom and, and also available in the labs. Uh, also, certainly as instructor faculty, if you have some specialized software that you need loaded, certainly we will work with you to make sure that that's available uh, on the, in the classrooms that, that you're teaching in. All in all, a large number of initiatives over this summer. Uh, the whole idea is to improve customer service, to improve uh, customer care. So we're not only doing that through uh, standardized technology, um, uh, but we're also trying to add the human side to extended hours. Uh, more hands-on support. So again, at the end of the day, uh, hopefully we're providing uh, better service, better care to you. Thank you.